Good morning. Well, I'm down here near Boardman. I'm going to do a September goose hunt this first day of the season. Uh, hopefully, I can get everything set up before they come back in from uh, being out eating. And I, I was not able to do a scouting trip down here, so for all I know, the they may not even land here, but I hope they do. We'll just have to see. Oh, right there. There's a group of them right there. Yep. If I'd been down there, I could have taken a shot at them. That's all right. Plenty of day left, I'm just starting out. I hear geese. I hear geese honking. I'm down to my skivvies because I forgot my swimsuit. I was just putting those decoys out. <laughs> I brought all those decoys and I can only use two of them. I didn't realize I brought the wrong heads. So they are starting to come in now. I gotta get I gotta get some camel on. Yep, shots up the river. So they're definitely coming in from eating. I barely got those decoys set out. I'm using conventional steel today in the Ithaca Made 10. I've got a uh, triple B. I have uh, a couple of twos, I think, but I got triple B and T. That's what I'm using. I hear them honking. I don't see where they're at. They probably went down in the water somewhere over that that way. Get lucky, they'll, they'll swim over here later. Oh, there's there's a couple of them right there flying. I need to get my call out. I don't. That's three of them. One great big one and two not quite as big. It's weird when they're further away, you can tell the difference in size, but when they're close, it's harder to tell. gone for now. Sound like I'm getting close. Trying to hide my face here. I must have went past. Well, that's irritating as hell. I thought I had the camera on and it was off and I splashed a goose. It's out there. It looks like it's dead. So I'm going to go get it. Probably going to have to swim to it though, but that's okay. Another cross is on me. coming.
Closer, closer, come on. Oh, they're out there ways, okay. Well, I gotta go get this bird. Okay, now yeah, I got, so I went out there and got my bird. And uh, here it is right here. There's some water locked. That's all right. One down. I can get five today. I'm, I'm always happy if I just get one, you know. There's been times I come down here, didn't get anything, didn't even get a shot. So. Someone was down there shooting. I didn't think anyone was down there, but somebody was. And then, of course, on the Washington side, someone was shooting up that way, sounded like. Okay, so the thing with these GoPro cameras <coughs> is that they, uh, you can say GoPro on to turn them on or GoPro off to turn them off. But uh, also to turn them on from being off, you just push the button and it starts recording. But I turned it off with a vocal command and it must get confused because it wouldn't, I pushed the button and all it did was turn on, but it didn't record. And uh, well, actually, it didn't even turn on because when I checked it, it wasn't even on. And it had this great shot two geese coming in, circling. And, Blam! Dropped one of them. Nothing on, no footage. So, sorry about that, guys. Oh, four geese. past oh there they are right there oh, come back around guys mm -hmm. Here's the flag again. You know this is the ideal place to use the flag. I lost one of my electronic hearing protection. It fell down here and it's not there. I can't find it. So I'm using these, these are, these are, uh, they block sound as the sound increases, which is nice, but uh, they suppress 13 decibels with, with nothing, so, so I can't hear the geese as good. Just when they get close, I'll put these in. Because otherwise I can't hear them unless they're really close. And I end up missing an opportunity. That guy can't be too far down there. And the sound of the shotgun. 
time of the shot. At least my river coming too. There they are right there, I see them. <coughs> Just like a straight line. They're not circling or nothing. Be in a boat. Yeah, he's in a boat. Well, it like he turned one. So one might be going down. Yeah, looks like it might be. Yeah. So these are heading this way. scared to land, they're just circling.
Oh, just too far out. Oh, it doesn't really end it. You can swim back in. You can swim over here. Okay, so apparently they landed right out there by that island and uh, they're still swimming that way, swimming down rivers, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping they'd swim over here, but they hear shooting down there, they might, they come, might come back. There was a pair of them further out and then there was a small group. You hear hawks. Sound like they're airborne. It might be different east. So they were past. They're plenty close enough to shoot. But I didn't see them. Okay, that's some straight out there. And these, I think, landed over here. So. Still get them. That pair come by. They were plenty close, but I didn't see them. They were so low, I didn't see them over the top of this until they were past me. I think they landed right over there. And then the other ones are almost straight out. They're just a little to the left out there. So hopefully they'll swim in here. They like to come in this little cove area sometimes.
where I knocked that one down at. Come on. <laughs> over Sometimes, like the turkeys, it's a game of patience. They'll land out there too far. That sometimes they'll swim in here, and then I can jump up and ambush them. Huh? 
come around here. Yeah, I could have shot those that pair of them around. They were close enough to shoot, but I by the time I seen them they were headed out again. So I will wait somewhere. Maybe I'll get lucky. There's a pretty good gathering of them out there. I'm gonna do this wait. Okay, there's one there that looks like it's working its way over, getting closer. There's a few of them still out there, so. There they are, right there. There's more of them coming in.
Well, he's shooting at him now. So hopefully they'll come back. Okay, now I shot this goose. Shot that goose around uh, 9 o'clock or so, maybe a little later. But uh, now it is almost 11.30 and the geese are now in and they're loafing. And uh, so a lot of the hunters leave, they go eat lunch and quite a few of them don't come back. And uh, I find that I've had great results staying put uh, because they shift. I mean, they loaf, but they don't stay still. They move around. And there's some on the little island out there, uh, which is near where I was, uh, where I retrieved my goose this morning. And then uh, there were some standing on a rock over to the left of that. Now, my decoys are still out. Uh, of course, they, they look dead because there's no wind, but I'm hoping eventually these birds will get enough courage to swim nearby and then I can jump up and shoot them. Um, I've, got, there was, I've gotten my limit before that way just by being patient. This is where the waiting game begins, and, uh, which requires patience, just like turkeys. And uh, not everyone has the moxie for it, you know. Some people, I, I don't know, I heard those people shooting. There was people upriver from me and down. And I heard them shooting, and I don't know if they scored anything or not. I have no idea. But, you know, they may have gotten a goose or two, and they're happy, and they're going home. Uh, but 
for me this is a pretty lengthy drive and cost a lot of gas and I'm not just just because I got one bird I'm not gonna pack it up and leave I'm gonna make this is a day this is a hunting day the whole day I got till something like 720 or something um, so I will be here probably till the end unless I get lucky enough to score my limit before then but uh, you usually don't get a limit. You usually get one or two birds. That's how it usually works down here. And a lot of times you don't get anything. The real mystery today is what happened to my electronic hearing protection. I had, okay, I had this one, walkers. These aren't cheap. And I take them both out uh, to retrieve the bird because I didn't want to get my head in the water and get water in them. I had them sitting here, and then when I went to move something, when I came back, one of them fell off into this little puddle. Well, it's no more, it's it's not even very deep, but it's not there. I've drunk the whole pond, the whole little puddle, and I can't find them. They just, they just disappeared. This isn't the first time something like this has happened here. It's almost as though this place Sometimes it zats a toll for hunting. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but one time I had a, a decoy, it was a shell. I'd set it on a rock nearby, near the water. We had some wind and stuff. And I looked over there after a while, it was gone. Well, I figured, okay, the wind probably blew it off the rock, it's in the water. No, could not find it. I looked and looked and looked, because it was real shallow there could not find it, never recovered it. Another time, when I was <clears throat> headed back to the truck, one of the heads of one of my floaters fell out of my bag or something, and when I lost it on the way up, I retraced my steps like three times, carefully, and I could not find it. And I never found it after that either. It's just, it just vanished. It was the strangest thing. <laughs> for all I know, this could be a special burial ground for Native Americans. Who knows? You know, but uh, it's just, I don't, I'm not a big believer in a lot of coincidences. I think things happen for a reason, usually. So that's today's mystery. You know, I'll have to replace those. I mean, I'm using these safari lands now and they have a valve in them that closes as it gets louder and they work good uh, the compression hearing protection they work good they don't require a battery or anything but with no sound they suppress 13 decimals so i can't use them for turkeys and i can only use them i've used them for snow geese because they're noisy i can use them if i can for pass shooting if i know there's geese coming i'll put them in you know but that's what i'm using today I'm just gonna have to, those geese are moving. Two of them are floating now, just straight out in front of me. So I gotta stay down. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll swim in here closer and I can ambush them. Well, I did a couple of clucks on the goose call in, in a little uh, low tone grunt. Uh, you don't hear people use calls like that, but I hear geese doing that, so it made sense to me. But uh, I did get them to, they were swimming one way, and they turn around, swim the other way, they're, they're kind of swimming back and forth out there, so I'm hoping they'll work their way over here. I'm take another peek and see exactly where they are. Worst case scenario, I can wait and they can never get close enough to shoot. But uh, 
a lot of times if you wait long enough, you get a, a good opportunity. You just gotta be patient. Another thing too is with those geese there, real geese are the best decoys in the world. Anything else that's flying by might decide to stop here. All they gotta do is circle close enough for me to get a shot. Of course, they'll, they'll all spook once I torch off around, but uh, if I can get one that way, that's great. I had two other opportunities this morning that I screwed up. The geese were significantly close enough to shoot, but I didn't see them until they were past me. That's one thing bad about this. I mean, be well, I'm well hidden, but so are they. I forgot to mention that there was another mystery. I had a, a goose vanish that I shot. <clears throat> it was right at the end of the day. I mean, it had like uh, five minutes left or something. I had the triple barrel, and I was running. Um, the first shot was cylinder bore. The second one was uh, skeet, I think, and the third one was improved cylinder. And... Anyway, this pair came in extremely close, zipping by me, and I just turned around. I didn't even have time to turn the camera on. I just grabbed a gun and shot one of them. Bam! It was like 10 feet away, probably. Knocked it down, shot at the other one. I hit it, but it didn't fall, but it was crippled. So I shot again, and then it, it ended up in the water. It fell in the water. Not like it was pretty much done, but um, pretty close. It was just over there, over there a ways, over by where those geese were standing on the rock over there. And I, I just uh, went to get ready to retrieve it. You know, took my pants off, had my swimsuit underneath, and. Uh, walked over there and it, it didn't have time to swim out in the river because I could see the whole area. I went over there and I, I scanned that whole area and could not find that goose. I'm thinking, you know, okay, maybe it dove down to hide and it got stuck under the uh, rock ledge or something because geese are not real good divers. And, uh, but whatever happened, I never did find it, never recovered it, and I searched the area pretty darn thorough, never found it, so there's that, the decoy, the decoy head, and now the electronic hearing protection that's vanished, for something, you know, it's really odd. In the past, when the water level was lower, I used to lay right here and take a nap. And this is the time of day when there's not much going on. So I'd take a nap, you know, but <laughs> the water's too high now. So I'd have to take a nap sitting up. And I don't want to get to be too out of it because uh, I don't want those geese to catch me off guard. And uh, it's worse in here next month because these are not evergreens. They'll lose their leaves, so then there's a lot less foliage to hide behind. Update. My hearing protection didn't vanish. I found it. But it doesn't look too good. It does not look good at all. So, try to Try to dry it out and see if I can get it to work. It was quacky.
right there. Come over here, buddy.
Guys, yeah, swim over here. I'll feed you. I'll feed you some steam.
Three of them are just look like it's dead. I have to work on it. There, I think that did it. I got three of them. That one quit swimming out. Crap. Well, I thought it was done, but it's still swimming. So is this one right here? I have to go out and get it. 
furthest one. I don't know if I can get it. I should be able to get two of them. Rivers tried to claim me twice. Once when I was, and uh, that one way out there, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. And just these two here, I think I can get them now. So, maybe it'll die and wash up. I don't know. Get them all. If I have any luck, it'll come back. I can get a chance for it again. But, uh, until then, I don't think it'll be. These two here, though, I think it Burr. How to keep my stamps in here? It's a big one. It's just kind of swimming in circles, so I don't know. Maybe I should have carried my gun out of here. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's... Maybe hopefully it'll drop dead here pretty soon. I don't know. That'd be, these two here make three for a day. If I can get that one, I'd have four, number four. But it looks pretty disoriented. As long as it doesn't spook. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll finally die, I don't know. It's just going in circles, circles. Maybe he's got a broken leg and it can't go straight. <laughs> like the one, like the George Carlin joke about the one armed, one armed guy in a rowboat <laughs> making everyone mad by rowing in circles. I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna head in and I'm gonna hope it doesn't go further out. I'm gonna hope. It just keeps swimming in circles and just dies. But I don't know. Ouch. Oh yeah, that's a headshot. Look at that. Maybe make you think it's I'm his buddy. Hey, I'm here to save you from living. <laughs> so these are definitely close enough to shoot. I think I broke that one's leg and I don't know what else it did. Because I all can do is swim in circles. Yet. But if I rush out there, it might go further out. Yeah, it might. I picked up another one one time I shot and kept swimming in circles. It looks pretty lively, it's probably scared, that's why. He doesn't seem to go anywhere. Maybe I can get it. I don't know. It's kind of deep right there, though.
getting closer. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm here to save you from living. Oh. You don't look too good. I'm getting closer and closer and closer. Gotcha! Well, it's definitely over my head here. Glad I got this life jacket. Well, come on, bud. I'll finish you off when I get back to shore. I can't stand. To Okay, note to oneself and others watching. If you, if, let's see if the legs broke. No, the legs seem intact, but for some weird reason it kept swimming in circles. That I don't understand. <clears throat> Maybe you can help me by swimming <laughs> so I can get in faster. Can I stand yet? No. Oh, yeah, I can. Barely. Okay, good. Okay, buddy. I tried to ring your net, but I'd lose my balance. So it's gonna have to wait. There is a little bit of current. These guys are drifting. I better go get them. <laughs> Before they end up getting too far away. <laughs> It'd be a shame to lose a goose that was actually dead because I was too busy trying to get the one that's still alive. It might just be the current created by me going past. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I know. I don't like you to suffer, but I'm not ruining it. I don't have a bunch of leverage to wring your neck from here. So, I'm just going to have to. I could drown you, but that kind of seems kind of cruel. So, snapping the neck is less cruel. It's actually swimming. It's trying. It's actually helping me because it's swimming. It's a little... I don't know why it kept going in circles. I don't understand what the problem was. Because I thought it had a broken leg. The leg is fine, but his, his eye looks. Oh man, his eye looks bad. So it looks like I hit him in the head. Maybe made him dingy that way. Come on. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, you can move right along. If someone just guides you to go straight. I don't want to let go because you might actually come to your senses and take off. And that would be a tragedy for me. And for you because you'd die somewhere other than where I planned. Okay, so that's up to four. One left, one more, I can get my limit. But I scared the bejesus out of them, so they may not be back. This may be it. Might not get another opportunity, but we'll see. They move around while they're on the river. Okay. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, no, you didn't want to be taken out of the water. I get that. That is like your best place ever. Refuge. Okay. These guys here. And this guy. There we go. Now you're done. I'm sorry, bud. Life isn't fair for any of us. Okay. Whew. Well, that worked out nicely. I just got one left to get a limit, and uh, I don't know if I'll get another opportunity. I might have to wait through to the end of the day when they come back through. Because I <laughs> spoofed those guys who educated the birds, as people say. A picture of some guy with a chalkboard, you know. Okay, birds, here's how it is. But uh, some other geese could come in. Doesn't have to be them. There's thousands of geese along this river, so it just depends on where all they're at. That ambush worked out well. I hear more geese. I also hear people talking. So this may this may end my hunting day. We'll see. Yeah. I guess they're way out there somewhere. Okay, um, so this is what patience will get you. It gets you more birds. I'm only one away from having a limit. I usually don't get four of them. I usually get one or two. So I may actually get a limit today. Uh, but I, I hear human voices, so I don't know where they're at. They could cause problems. There's geese still out here. I hear them honking. They must be way out in the river there where they know they're safe, far enough out. You know, I have a lot, a lot harder time getting this close to them in winter. Once they've been shot at a few times, it don't take them long to learn. Oh yeah, those humans are bad news. <laughs> but uh, I, all I had to do was wait and uh, you know, they swam around, stood on the island, stood on the rock, swam over here, swam over there. And finally, they, they got close enough. And I'm sure they were curious about the decoys. And then they got close enough to where they were within range. So I popped up and shot them. And got three more, so. Three shells, three geese, so. It worked out nicely. So I've shot what, six shells today, I think. Let's see. No, the first first one I shot two. Well, maybe I shot three. I don't know, five or six. But four geese with five or six shells ain't bad. So now I've got to do is wait some more and see if I can get that last goose. Uh, either that or I can just cut out of here and be happy with what I got today. We'll see. Um, see how bored I get, I guess. And I gotta figure out where those people are because I hear voices, hear people talking. Because if they're gonna be too close, it's not gonna be worth staying because they're gonna screw up any chance I got. How about the Ithaca Made 10, huh? It's a hell of a gun, isn't it? Just using steel shot, um, triple B and T's, that's it. I do wish they'd allow hunting with an eight gauge in this country, but they don't. Yeah, it looks like that island's under water. In fact, the water level came up. Yeah, it did, because it goes all the way through. 
crap. Yeah, that the bottom. Yep, comes all the way. Rose came up several inches. That island, yeah. I thought that'd be a great place to be is on that island, but if it's underwater, you can't be on it. And it won't let you hunt from a sink box. It's illegal in Oregon. You can't use anything sneaky like that. You can use a regular boat. But then, the, yeah, where are you going to hide the Ferris wheel? Yeah, that rock they were standing on is almost underwater. And I may have to leave if this water comes up too much. Where are those geese at? I hear them honking out there. Huh. That Ithaca Med tent is so lethal. <clears throat> you know, he's using the, the steel shot. Because um, when that one was trying to swim out, I shot it again on the water. And you can see in the footage how wide the pattern was. It wasn't wide at all. Even way out there. It was still small. So, I mean, it's got a lethal, it's got a very deceptively small pattern. The gun was manufactured before we used steel shot, but it shoots steel incredibly well. And this enables me to save my tungsten for the 12 gauge, help make it a, a bit of an equalizer, so to speak. I can use it in the triple barrel and uh, do some goose hunting with that. Okay, I see the boat with the people on it. It's uh, you know, about an eighth of a mile, maybe a little further down that way. You know, it's incredible how voices carry across water. I'm thinking maybe those geese could hear me whispering into the camera, but it didn't seem to scare them. See the fish out there jumping. I should have brought my fishing rod down here. Could have thrown it out there and maybe caught something while I'm here. More stuff to pack. <laughs> Four geese is a lot to pack. And if I get a fifth one, that's even more. So we'll see. I'll wait for a little while and then I'm going to call it quits after that, I think. I don't know. It's not really about getting all five birds as much as it is having a successful day. And you get anything, it's a successful day. If you enjoy the hunt, even if you don't get anything, it's a successful day. Here comes a duck. Can't shoot ducks right now. It'd be a good shot to good distance, not that far out. I don't know why the water level is so high. It's been that way two years, two seasons in a row. And before that, there's a bunch of land you could walk across. And this was completely dry. minutes left on the card so, and I can keep recharging the batteries so and I'll wait for a while see if anything else flies by and they're usually pretty the action's pretty slow right now the main things that cause them to shift are if someone spooks uh, some geese from a spot or if they decide they want to come back to this cove they really do like it in here this area and it's the weeds and, and the brush has taken over to the point where it's really hard to get in here but you know if you're willing to put up with it uh, you can have some great success but those people up and down river were getting plenty of shooting too so if their aim was on they probably had a good day
a recap when I got here. I didn't have any. I thought I had the right decoy heads for the decoys. Now they're, the, they're for the shells. So I only had one. I have one floater, of course, that has a head permanently attached, and I have one with the head on it. So I had two decoys I could actually use. So I'm not going to put a body out there without a head. So. But it seemed to work. I mean, got the geese close enough. So later in the season, it probably wouldn't work, but who knows? Now I gotta figure out where the rest of my parts are. Okay, so to recap today's hunt, first day, opening day of September goose season in Eastern Oregon, a five day season. And there were other hunters down here, but it caused me no problems. Uh, they got, they were shooting too, so hopefully they had some good luck. But I brought, I dragged this, I dragged this decoy thing down there. And then I got down there and realized that I had the wrong bag of heads for the floaters. So I had the one floater that has the head permanently attached, and I have one other one that had its head on it. So I ended up only having two decoys to use, but it worked, and you know I ended up with four large Canada geese. So it turned out real good after all. Um, but I got to figuring out, <laughs> and I think I. I figured out that I'm carrying, was carrying on my back, on the way back, between 80 and 100 pounds worth of stuff. And I'm getting too old for that kind of crap. So I gotta figure out an easy way to pack stuff. Um, my little decoy cart, my little wagon I was using, I went to take it out of storage, I sat on the ground and the wheel busted. That plastic was brittle and it just broke, so it's no good. So it's going to the dump, and uh, let's come up with another another little card or something. Um, I tried using the deer drag, but that was kind of tiresome. But I can hook the electric bike to it, and uh, you know, go down there and carry everything that way. The only thing is, uh, I'm concerned about goat heads and other sharp objects. You know. I don't know, but it definitely would have made it easier. But overall, it was a great hunt, and uh, thank you, patrons, and thank you, everyone else who's watching who could be watching someone else's channel instead. I really do appreciate you viewing. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, keep the algorithm going. This wasn't a political video, I know, but uh, you never know with YouTube censorship reigns supreme so anyway uh, until the next time happy hunting keep your gunpowder dry and so on well i was just getting ready to go and heard some shots and this guy with a boat was chasing these geese he shot at them from a moving boat which is against the law and three of those geese are going up river the other ones, some are going further out. Huh. Well, I don't see anything falling, and those geese are way too far from you to be shooting them. Numb nuts. <clears throat> I don't know if that's the same people that were. I don't know if that's the same people that were shooting earlier or downriver from me or not, but they're not very good at it. And uh, you can shoot from a boat, but it has to be stopped. It's not supposed to be moving. And they definitely were moving. And lucky the sheriff for 
state or somebody isn't watching them. If I would have been down there, I would have screwed up my shot anyway because they, they went further up river because they're so scared. Yeah, good time to leave. Sometimes you can get some pretty good action in the afternoon. They evidently found some geese on the water, decided to chase them, which is not very ethical, I don't think. More harassment than anything else. <clears throat> but when you hunt, you have to figure. You have to figure out what kind of hunter you are. To me, I'm an ambush predator. Yeah, I can pursue and chase and do other things, but I prefer to wait and then ambush my prey. And when you figure out what kind of hunter you are, own it. Be proud of it. And now they're down there where I was. So I would have been really mad if I'd still been there and those guys come cruising through there with a the boat. I would not have been happy. Nope. They give me something to shoot at, but, you know, shooting at people is not legal, so... Now they're chasing ducks. Real good, guys. People like that should not be using a boat. Yeah, it may be hard to see from here, but I can see them real good. They're just finding whatever's sitting on the water and they're chasing it. In my opinion, that's some pretty poor hunting strategy. And watch, they're trying to find where those geese went, probably. All they gotta do is scare the heck out of the birds, and the birds will be wary, and it'll be hard for anyone else to get a shot at them. But I'll, I'll be making it down here at least one more time before the season ends, maybe two. And, uh, but I definitely skip a day, at least. I'm not coming down here tomorrow. Those birds will remember what happened today, <laughs> quite clearly. So maybe the day after tomorrow or the day after that. Let's see, I only got five days to hunt, so. The September goose season is there for a reason. It's there to control the local populations of geese to keep them from getting too high. But just chasing them around, that really doesn't do anything except scare them and they just fly back and forth and they'll reproduce and it's not going to do anything for the population. I hope those jerks aren't here the next time I come down here.